Welcome back, Far More Money family. Hey, today we're going to be talking about three reasons to invest in SoFi stock. It's right around $25 right now. It trades under the ticker symbol IPOE, waiting for the SPAC merger to go through and uh, for us to get a definitive date from uh, Chamath's merger that he's going to take live here shortly. So, um, very exciting. SoFi is a huge fintech company and they provide loans and, you know, you can name it, uh, mortgages, loans, student loan servicing, right? So uh, this is a company that's not going anywhere, guys. Uh, it's it's here to stay uh, a lot like, uh, you know, some of the, the bigger uh, financial houses. This is also uh, going to be um, prominent. It's not it's going to, you know, draw customers consistently. Uh, student loans aren't going anywhere. I know everyone keeps talking about forgiveness and all this other stuff, but, um, you know, that's, it's, it's a great idea. It's always a novel idea, but, uh, you know, the reality of it is, is that, you know, there might be some sort of, uh, amount dollar amount of forgiveness, but it's not going to be wiping out clean of uh, student loans. So, uh, the, this company is going to play a crucial role, uh, overall in the, uh, grand scheme of things. But besides that, the fact that, you know, it can provide loans through an app, it can, you know, take care of investing as well. So uh, I myself opened up a new account with SoFi. I've been on Robinhood, Toss, you know, um, gosh, you, you name it, Fidelity. Uh, and SoFi is going to be a new one that I'm going to start. And I'm going to start with $1,000 and work it forward, just waiting for the funds to clear on that. But um, very exciting stuff. And uh, yeah, look forward to talking to you guys more about the three reasons to invest in SoFi stock. Thanks. So Chamat's backed SoFi will meet the needs of mobile first consumers and lower the cost of banking through technology. So this is reason number one why I strongly believe this stock will succeed in the long term to run to $50 and beyond, guys. So the current fintech climate is ripe for the taking. We have companies like Square out there right now, you know, PayPal, uh, you got your Visas, MasterCards. It's a very small group. You know, there's way more companies doing the data software, um, software as a service, uh, um, you know, um, companies, cybersecurity companies, but nothing with the fintech portion. And so SoFi will do banking the way Amazon does retail, right? So that's pretty unique. They are kind of like going to be the jack of all trades, right? When we look at Amazon, we think of them as like, you go to them for everything. If you want to buy a, a cell phone charger or a cell phone case, uh, whether it's home goods, right? Like um, clothing, shoes. I mean, you can find anything and everything on Amazon that you need to. So SoFi will be the same exact thing, but in banking. This is a trillion dollar industry and an opportunity waiting to be taken and ran with. So very exciting stuff from the fact that it is a fintech company that will succeed. The second reason why SoFi will succeed and do well in the long run is the fact that they've got a CEO by the name of Anthony Noto, who was also the former Twitter exec and Goldman Sachs exec as well. He was also the former CEO of the NFL and brokered a deal with the LA Rams to leave the stadium name as SoFi Stadium for the next 10 to 20 years, which is just massive uh, from an advertising perspective, right? To have a stadium named after, you know, um, after a company, which is huge. He's also brokered a $1.2 billion deal at SoFi to acquire Galileo, a software company with $100 plus million plus in revenue just in 2020. So huge things up ahead. The fact that they've got their CEO, Anthony Noto, at the helm of everything, this is just going to make this company run faster and quicker uh, onwards uh, as you know it goes through the merger with um, IPOE. So the third reason why I'm you know, bullish on SoFi stock and in just in general, why I'm going to be investing in IPOE are the financials behind SoFi, right? So loan volume itself is up 25% annual rate from an estimated 10 billion in 2020 to a forecast $42 billion in 2025. That's massive. Adjusted net revenue is supposed to be up at a 43% compound annual rate from an estimated 621 million in 2020 to a forecasted close to $3.7 billion in 2025. They're planning on improving adjusted earnings before interest, taxes, depreciation, and amortization by about $1.2 million billion in 2025. So basically, guys, they're projecting the EBITDA for this company to be about $1.2 billion in 2025. If you don't understand how massive that is, most companies are lucky to even have 
a profit in general or an EBITDA or um, you know, a department gain, right, is how we know it in the financial world, uh, of anything positive, right? Even one million would be sufficient for a company out there. Uh, the fact that this company plans on doing $1.2 billion by 2025 in just EBITDA, which is strictly department gain. That's the take home after you pay your bills, uh, pay your employees, right? Uh, everything else included. So like taxes, that's literally your take home. $1.2 billion is absolutely massive. So hopefully you guys all see the, you know, the, the, the interest behind why I'm looking at the stock and why I'm going to be investing in it. Uh, there's a lot of upside uh, hope that this was, uh, you know, educational and that you guys learned something from it. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Thank you. If you've enjoyed this video, if you did, please go ahead and hit the like button and please do subscribe. Turn on your notifications as videos are going to continue to pour in as we move forward through 2021. Uh, this is going to be the road and journey to wealth and to just massive portfolio returns as we move forward. Thanks, everyone.